Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dante from North Central Texas College, or NCTC for short. Today, I am going to be talking about the most impactful things I learned in class. Before I came into the class, I did not expect to be happy and excited about attending college class. However, after the second day in learning frameworks, I looked forward to it. Now you may be asking, why would you look forward to a college class? This is why. In learning frameworks, I learned a substantial amount of information that can be applied to my everyday life. One of the most impactful things I learned in class was how to communicate. It's not as easy as it sounds. Just talk in there, you communicate with perfect efficacy. That's incorrect. The first step to effective communication was, to my surprise, listening. If you do not know how to listen, how can you communicate and respond to someone? You cannot. Another technique to communication is your body language. If you do not make eye contact with someone and you are talking to, it can show that you are insecure. If you talk to someone and you do not look at them, it can also show you don't care what they have to say or that you don't trust the person. When talking to someone, you should also sit up straight and face towards them. This shows you want to listen to what they are saying and you think they are interesting. This is how you can use these strategies. In an interview, you can use all of them. Whenever they are asking you a question, you should listen and sit up straight. If you do not listen to what they asked you, you can't respond. You lost the job. If you sit up straight and you make eye contact, you'll find it easier to listen and also to communicate back to them. You can use these communication techniques anytime you're communicating with someone. The second most impactful thing in learning class was how to use APA format in your research paper for in-text citations and also for citing sources in your reference list. This, along with communication, calculating my GPA, and building a strong vocabulary are the most impactful things I learned in the learning frameworks. Learning how to use APA format will help me for the rest of my life because whenever I have to write a research paper, it is mandatory in college to use APA format. APA format is for formatting the paragraphs and text citations and also the reference list. In college, if I do not know how to use APA format, I will get points taken off the paper, resulting in a lower GPA. My grade on the research paper can go down from 100 to an 80. If the teacher only takes 2 or 3 grades from the semester, then your GPA will suffer tremendously. Every point in your grade point average counts. APA format is designed to make a paper easy to read, improve word choice, and while also maintaining the quality of the paper. Therefore, you can use APA format whenever you write any kind of paper to make it easier to read. For example, an academic journal, a book, a research paper, or an article. Calculating my grade point average is important because to get some degrees, you must have a certain GPA. If you do not know how to calculate your GPA, then you will not know what grade your next paper must be in order to get the degree. For example, if you need a 3.8 GPA and you have a 3.7, and a test is coming up that potentially raise your GPA up to a 4.0, you do need to know what your GPA is, thus you can see how hard you need to study to get the 3.8 you need. Understanding the lexicon in an article, book, or even a movie is very important. If you do not understand the words that you are reading or hearing, how you comprehend the text, video, or speech? You might be thinking, well, okay, how do I build a good vocabulary? This is how. If you are reading a book and there is a word you do not understand, first, try to use context clues, meaning conduct a scrutiny over the sentence or paragraph to help you analyze the definition of the word. You still can figure it out, use a dictionary look up the word. Also, to recognize more Lexis, read materials that are difficult, like a hard book. Once you know a substantial amount of vocabulary, you can use the Lexis in your speech. This will help you seem more intelligent and help you better explain what you're trying to say.